So, how to find your superheat. First, we need to know what kind of refrigerant we're using. For this lesson, we're going to be using R22. Next, we want to take the temperature of the suction line. The best way to do that is to use your Cooper thermometer. For this one, I just have a thermometer written, and we have 40 degrees. Next, we want to find our low side pressure. For this one, we have 59 PSI. Since we can't subtract a pressure from a temperature, we need to get our PT chart and find out what 59 PSI is for R22. Once we've taken R22 and 59 PSI and correlated on a PT chart, we find that our temperature is actually 33 degrees. So next, we want to subtract these two numbers to get our total. Our total is going to be what our superheat is for our system. So 40 minus 33 is going to be 7 degrees. Now that we found our 7 degrees of superheat, we know that it is within range. Our coolers typically want to be between 6 to 8 degrees of superheat. Our AC units want to be typically between 12 and 15. And our freezers want to be between 2 and 4 degrees. If you're within those ranges, whether you're working on an AC unit, freezer, or a cooler, then you know that your superheat is good.